Hey guys, the Yellow Shepherd here. Now today I'll be showing you how to use global hotkeys with iTunes. Now if you've ever used iTunes, you may or may not know that if you use the control key and the arrow keys, you can use it to switch between songs without having to click anything. The only problem with this is this only works while iTunes is selected. This is where global hotkeys come in handy, which will allow you to do this regardless of what window is selected. Okay, so what we'll use to do this is an application called iTunes Control. I'll leave a link in the description to the website and all you have to do is click on download and then download the latest version. So once you've downloaded and installed this application, if you go to your notification tray down the bottom and double click on the icon, the settings menu should appear and you can see there are tons of settings, but the main settings we're looking for here is the hotkeys menu. Here you can define up to 40 hotkeys to do things such as play, pause, skip track, next track and even change the volume. You can even have it post the current song you're listening to, to Twitter. Okay, now here I'm just showing you an example of it working. You can see I've got an Explorer window in front of it. So I've selected the Explorer window, and if I press the Control, Windows key, and arrow keys, I can switch between songs, and it'll come up with a little overlay showing me the song name and title and the rating. And if I use the up and down arrow keys with Control and Windows key, I've bound it to change the volume, as you can see here. And I've also got it to change rating depending on what key I press. So that's all for now, guys. Click that subscribe button above to get notified when I next post a video. Click that like button if you liked it. And I'll see you next time.